Internet browsing is the number one activity most likely to derail productivity. We all need the internet to get things done, yet we all get distracted so easily when we're on it. It's an amazing tool and one of the main differences between people who get things done and those who procrastinate is how this tool is put to use or to waste. Like over 60% of people, I use Chrome to serve the web and I use a ton of extensions to make my online life easier. Things like link grabbers, image downloaders, snapshot tools, ad lockers, but my favorite type of Chrome extensions are the ones that preserve and boost my productivity. And this is what we're going to be talking about in this video. Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Joseph Mavericks. I'm a graphic designer by day and a content creator by night. In the past two years, I've published over 200 articles, mostly around the topics of productivity, self-improvement, and entrepreneurship. In this video, I'm going to break down my four favorite productivity Chrome extensions and how I use them to keep my focus and get my work done. So like a lot of people, I'm someone who gets very easily distracted online. At the beginning of my blogging journey, back three years ago, I quickly realized that if I wanted to keep up a writing pace of one article draft per day and posting three articles live per week, I was going to have to drastically rethink the way I worked. I couldn't afford to be distracted by videos anymore, by content recommendations. I couldn't have 20 different tabs open at the same time anymore because I would lose track of my work. So a lot of these things needed to change when it came to my online productivity. The thing is, online productivity is kind of like the Hydra's multiple heads, a popular monster in Greek and Roman mythology killed by Hercules. Every time he was trying to kill the monster and chop its head off, two more would grow back instantly. You get the comparison, right? You cut off one distraction and two more pop up right away. And it's really hard to manage all this alone. It's, it's such a complex ecosystem that the browser extensions are here to help you win the battle. Together, these extensions form the, uh, the golden sword that Hercules used to win the battle against the Hydra. With that in mind, let's introduce the first Google add-on I use for my productivity. Time your web. So just like it's important to manage your distractions, it's important to get an overview of whether or not the actions you're taking towards those distractions are working and whether or not you're, you're actually making progress and managing to get some work done. Time Your Web is a Chrome extension that tracks how much time you spend on each website while browsing online. The primary reason I decided to install it on my laptop was because I found I was not getting enough insights on my productivity with the default screen time reporting tool, which comes by default with Mac OS. I think this kind of tool is going in the right direction of helping people manage the use they make of their device better, but it doesn't provide a breakdown of what you do inside each app. So I can see I spent three hours online today with Google Chrome, but I can't see what I did inside those three hours in Google Chrome. When I started my blog, I needed to make room in my schedule to be able to write content, and so I started tracking my time use very precisely based on a method by Laura Vandercom, author of 168 Hours You Have More Time Than You Think. This was a life-changing approach for me, and I highly recommend you read this book. And so that was back then, and I was really like drastically precisely following my time, but now I just use it to get an overview once in a while. In terms of how I use the tool, I use the stacked view mode in the extension because for me that's the clearest visual overview I can get uh, to see where I spend most of my time. The two other view modes available are summary and flow and for each view mode you can decide to display the data daily, weekly or monthly and you can also choose your own custom time range. You also have an option to download your browsing data in a CSV file if you're into that kind of stuff and if you want to import it in your own spreadsheet where you can get even more insights with your own charts, graphs, plots, data points what have you. Add-on number two, Tab Counter. Tab Counter is a very simple extension that counts the number of tabs you have open while browsing. I used to have 25 different types open at the same time at any point during the day. I think this is a very common problem for a lot of people, especially in a corporate environment where hyper productivity, multitasking are praised at all costs without ever wondering if any of it is useful. So as someone who juggles now between three different activities, my 95 job, my articles on my blog and my YouTube videos, you can easily imagine how all over the place my tab game was back then. This kind of approach didn't have a single benefit for my productivity, yet I kept doing it. I would get lost in my tabs, I would lose the information I had found five minutes ago, but I, I couldn't find it anymore. And then eventually maybe I do find the tab that I needed, but it took me five minutes of my time while it could have taken 10 seconds. Or I don't find it, but because I closed 10 other times while trying to find it, now I lost track of where I was in the first place. It's just this whole circle, right? I'm sure a lot of you can relate here. 
Also, around the 30 tab mark, Google Chrome starts acting up. I, don't, I work on MacBook Pro and I don't know if it's because I have other apps open at the same time or if it's because my laptop is getting old, but the more tabs I have, the more it, like, it gets slower. It makes my laptop crank up the ventilation system. It gets hot and noisy. Sometimes it will show wheel of death. I mean, none of this was fun, even on the technical side of things, so I had to switch things up. So long story short, you simply can't focus when you're doing 25 things at the same time. It's impossible. The human brain is not designed to multitask. So the tab counter extension helps me keep my number of tabs in check and I even tweaked its source code a little bit to trigger a pop-up anytime my number of tabs exceeds five. This has been working really well for me and here's a quick tutorial on how to do that. So first, install the Chrome extension tab count. I put the link in the video description down below. And once you've done that, from now on, every time you open a new tab, you will see the little counter next to the extension icon increase by one. But there's nothing inside the extension that triggers a pop-up to warn you that you're getting too many tabs open. So we're gonna have to implement this ourselves. We're going to grab the source code of the extension and tweak it for our own needs. Not to worry, this is pretty easy. In Chrome's top bar, type this. Hit enter and find the tab count extension. Then you need to find its ID. Copy that ID and go to this folder if you're on Windows and this folder if you're on Mac OS. I'm on Mac, so I'll go there. Look for the folder named after your ID. This is called the root folder of the extension. Copy all the files in there, create a new folder in a location you can get back to easily, like your desktop folder or your documents, and name this folder tab count custom. Paste all the files you copied in the previous step in it. In that folder, look for the subfolder called JS. Open it and find the file background.js. Open that file in your favorite text editor. I'm using Sublime and I put the link in the video description down below. Select the first five lines of the file, which look like this. Delete them and replace them with the code included in the video description. And where it says var limit underscore count equals five, replace five with whatever max number of tabs you want to allow yourself to have at the same time. The final step is to install our custom made Chrome add-on in the browser. In Google Chrome, go back to Chrome extensions, find the tab count extension again and remove that one. In the top right corner of the screen, enable developer mode. In the left side of the menu that opens after you do that, click on load unpack. From here, select your tab count custom folder and click on select. And that's it. You're pretty much done. Your custom extension is now installed. It will have a little red icon next to it, but that's nothing to worry about. It's just because it doesn't come from the Google Chrome store and therefore is not considered from a trusted source by Google. It's nothing to worry about. You may need to restart your browser to see the changes take effect. And once you do that, try to open more tabs than the limit you set for yourself. And a pop-up will remind you that that's too many. You need to go back to focus. Add-on number three, Forest. So one of the most radical options to stop going on distracting websites is to fully block them from your computer. And there are a lot of applications or extensions for that, but the problem with a lot of them is that usually they block the website for a set period of time. And that's nice, but if you finish your work early or you want a break or you forgot to set the timer properly, then you can't access the website until the timer expires and it's not fun. So Forest fixes that problem. You start by adding your distracting websites to the blacklist, like in any other app that would just block the website. But the difference is when you're working and not being distracted, the extension builds a little cute forest for you, tree by tree. When you do go to the distracting website, on the plank list, it doesn't block them for you, but the beautiful little trees start dying and that's not cool. And you can even log into the forest mobile app to see how your forest is doing. And I don't know, it, it maybe it won't work with you, but I find this to be a great fun little incentive to keep a productive momentum going. Because after a while, you'll, you'll have a nice forest on your phone and you won't want to destroy those beautiful trees. So instead of going to distracting websites and killing your forest, you'll figure you might as well log off your computer and go do something distracting out there in the real world. And your, your little virtual forest won't be affected by that. And you'll even get some real fresh air. A uh, quick note on forest. I do not recommend this extension for people who are just getting started with time management. Time management is a long learning process and apps that fully block distracting websites are still the best way to start off in my opinion because the gamified aspect of forest is great with the mobile app and all that but it can make it very easy for beginners to fall back in an unproductive spiral because maybe you're not going to care about the trees and you're just going to go on the distracting websites all the time so yeah in the beginning maybe avoid gamification and just go for the uh, tried and proved uh, blog can you say that tried and proved proven whatever extension number four noisily
White noise is a type of noise that is produced by combining sounds of all different frequencies together. If you took all the imaginable tones that a human can hear and combine them together, you would have white noise. Now, whether white noise helps focusing or not is still up to debate in the scientific world, but I think what's important is to do what works for you. And a lot of people, including me, find that listening to white noise helps them with their focus. And what is for sure is that it blocks and removes the sounds coming from the outside world when you're trying to focus, and that helps a lot. I very often listen to white noise when working, and Noisly is amazing for that. The free version comes with 16 ambient sounds, things like rain, storm, wind, forest, leaves, river, and more. You can choose the volume of each sound component and mix everything together, so you can become your own little productivity DJ. It also comes with three free presets, productivity, random, and relax, where the sounds get automatically mixed for you. There you have it. Like all the productivity tips out there, remember that what matters is to find what works for you. Most of the advice given in any field of expertise usually needs to be adjusted to each and everyone's personality. And that's something I always like to remind people in my content. Making technology work with productivity can be done in a lot of different ways. And this video is here to show you how I do it, not to tell you how to do things. Just like my all my other content on YouTube. As I always say, take what you need and leave out what you don't want. It's completely fine to not apply everything to the T. What is true for everyone though is that technology will always get in your way of getting things done if you don't do anything about it. This has been true for many years now and it will only increase over time. Notifications, online distractions and unimportant messages are all part of our daily lives and the secret to getting things done lies in minimizing those as much as possible. Lastly, I cannot recommend enough keeping the number of tools you use to a bare minimum. My content is all about new productivity techniques and tools but again it's here for inspiration to show you what's available what's possible what matters is to choose what works for you i've been writing about and testing different productivity tools and techniques for years now but at the end of the day i only stick to very few key components because the more tools you use the more likely you are to get distracted by the complexity of all the options you will have access to if you spend more time having fun with all the features of the tool and playing around with it rather than getting work done thanks to the tool then it might be for somebody else but it's probably not for you that's it for this week's video as always thank you guys so much for watching i must say the support has been amazing thank you to all of you who commented with kind words and encouraged me to continue making videos i cannot believe how many of you are already subscribed to the channel it really means the world and i'm so happy that a lot of people are finding my content useful and relevant for themselves this really means a lot so as always if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video give it a little thumbs up drop a comment if you feel like it i'll see you next time thanks so much for watching Enjoy the journey you're on.